everyone, Sarah here from The Paper Cut. Today we are going to be showing you how to make our bib cards. So this is a bib card. Um, it has a two inch circle cut here. It is an A2 size card. The looks can be deceiving, but it is an A2 size card. Um, if you joined us for the last at home event, I showed you how to make the Z fold cards which the dies are very similar. So when we were doing the Z fold cards, we were using the triple circle. Um, but it's basically the same type of die. We have a whole line of dies that are like this that have the score, the shape, and then the score. When we did the Z folds, it had the score and then three circles. This one just happens to have just one two inch circle. So you can use this die to make a Z fold card or this die also makes our bib card. Um, we do have, if you're not a die cutter, we do have them all pre-cut. So we have bib overlay kits. Um, we have a lot of these on the sale page of our website right now. So if you just wanna get started with some cards that have the overlays and the color combinations are already there, we have some pre-done. We also have where you can buy the bib cards separate and the bib overlays and then you can pick which colors you want to go together otherwise today we're going to be showing you how to use the two inch circle card making die which you can make into a z fold card like we did at the last home event or you can make it into the bib card then we also have our bib overlay layering die set um, so we'll show you that too we're going to start out though and we're going to show you how to use our two inch circle die into a Z fold card. So it's going to be a refresher for any of you that joined the home event before or if you didn't see it before then you can learn how to make a Z, card, Z fold card and the bib card. So the card making die, this, shows you on the back the directions but I'm going to go through those directions with you both for the Z fold card and the bib card. So we're gonna start out with the Z fold. So again, could be a refresher if you joined us for the last home event. Um, it tells you to cut your paper five and a half by 11. I pre-did that. So you all have a lot of paper at home, I'm sure. Um, no, I haven't been to your house, but I'm sure a lot of you have a lot of paper. So you take your eight and a half by 11, you cut it to five and a half by 11. Then the directions tell you to score it at four and a quarter. I pre-did that, but to do that, you would use a score pal or a scoreboard or just a handy ruler and um, a bone folder. So, and you're just gonna score it at four and a quarter. Then the directions tell you to measure up from this score. So this package actually tells you to measure up three and an eighth. So you'll take a ruler, you'll measure, you'll put a hash mark or a piece of washi tape there. Um, and I have another trick for you, so I'll tell you about that. And then you go to the other side, you measure up three and an eighth, put a hash mark or a piece of washi tape. Or my trick is I like to cut templates. So I have a bunch of them in all different sizes. This is my three and an eighth inch template. And then you can just line it up with your score and you don't have to worry about measuring on both sides. So I'm gonna set it down. I'm gonna line my template up at my score and I'm just gonna use a piece of removable tape to hold it down. Then I'm gonna take my die and I'm gonna line that up with my template make sure that it's about centered. So it will hang off the edge by just a little bit on both sides. And then hold that in place with, again, washi tape or removable tape. Okay, so then at that point, we can pick our template up and just put it off to the side. We're gonna put it in our die cutting machine. Now, the question came up, what type of die cutting machine can you use this on? This is the crossover two. So it has a pretty wide platform, um, but you can use this on a big shot machine because this die is five and three quarter inches long and your big shot machine is six inches. 
Now the cuddle bug, I think is, I don't know if it's quite six inches, but the one thing that's important with both the cuddle bug and the big shot is you wanna make sure that it's all the way on your platform. If it's hanging off your platform and you go and you're running it through, your die could get stuck right here. And if that happens, your die will bend. So you just need to make sure that this is going through nice and straight and it isn't gonna get caught on the outside of your machine. So I'm gonna put this down, run it through. Then I'm gonna take my die off. Now we're gonna fold it. So we're gonna fold on our main score as a mountain fold. So this is a mountain fold. And then on our score with our shape, we're gonna fold back and that's our valley fold. So we have our mountain fold and our valley fold and that makes our Z fold card. Um, at this point you can, if you have a bone folder, you could give it a good little push on your scores. Now uh, from the back, it extends off a little bit long and the directions tell you to trim that off. The easiest way to trim that off is to just take a pencil, run it along that back edge, and then take your personal paper trimmer and trim that off. Now, you might be asking, why didn't you just tell me the size of the car to begin with? Well, if I told you that um, and you were off in your measuring, this front part could have be scooted over and then it would be short on the front of your card. So it's easier to just trim that off. There's also a little bit of flexibility. So if you wanted this circle pushed over this way because you wanted to see a little bit more down this edge, then you just make this distance shorter. So there's a little bit of flexibility with this card as far as how much of this inside that you want to see. So let me go ahead and trim this. I'm just taking my personal paper trimmer. Remember we used a pencil and we marked that on the back. We're going to open that up, line it up, and trim that off. And then we have our Z fold card. Now, what I also showed you last week is that you could use this same die on a piece of pattern paper to make an overlay for the front of your card. So you're gonna take the die and just line it up at the edge of your pattern paper. Use a piece of um, washi tape or removable tape to hold it in place. Then I'm gonna go back to my machine and I'm gonna run it through. Now what's nice about this machine, and I don't sell it, is it has this little gauge up here to either raise it up and increase your pressure or lower it down. Um, the other thing with this machine is I've been using this um, metal plate, this metal plate, which is a really nice metal plate. It stays nice and flat. Um, we do have these for sale now on our website. Um, it is a steel, pretty heavy duty steel plate. Um, right now I just have the size for the crossover too, but I will be getting the size for the Big Shot also. So that is $20 on our website under the accessory page. It's a really nice steel plate, um, especially for cutting detail dies. I just happen to have it there usually all the time. So anyways, we used our die, we cut the shape. Now it's really handy. You know, you're probably saying, well, I have a punch, I could just do that. Well, when you're doing it uh, for this little triple circle one, to have all of your dies exactly the same distance apart and pushed in exactly the same amount comes in pretty darn handy. So any of the dies, especially like the more, um, like the tree or the pumpkin that's a more specific shape, you know, the die, you really want the die in order to cut that overlay. So anyways, I cut my overlay, but you can see it's a little big. So to trim it, I'm just gonna turn it over. I'm gonna use my pencil again, and I'm just gonna mark the outside. And then I'm gonna trim in a little bit from the outer edge. 
so instead of trimming right on my pencil marks because that would put it right out to the outer edge I'm going to trim a little bit inside my pencil marks because then when I put it on the front of my card I'm going to see a little bit of the orange and you can always cut your pattern paper down a little bit smaller I just happened to grab a scrap that was sitting there As you can imagine, I have a lot of scraps sitting there. So now we have our overlay. Oops, and I trimmed it. Oh, no, I just put it on the wrong way. So, um, so now we can see a little bit of orange around the outer edge. So and you can trim further in and then you can see more orange around the outer edge. So that's how to use our two inch card making die to make a Z fold card. But now I'm going to show you how to use that same die to make our bib card. So the bib card directions are on the back too. They tell you to cut your paper four and a quarter by nine. I did cut mine a little bit wider and just a hair longer and I'm going to tell you why when we get that far. So um, the directions, I cut my paper and then they say to measure from the bottom up four and a half inches again i'm using a template so i have my template and i lay my template on i hold it in place with a piece of tape i take my die line up my die with the edge of my template now try to make it as centered as possible and that's why I cut my paper a little bit wider so you don't have to measure on both sides to make sure you have it exactly centered. This way you can just trim it off when you're done. Once we put our bib overlay on the front of it, then you can just trim it a little bit. Um, so we're going to hold this in place and we're going to take our template off. Again, we're going to set it on our plate. run it through. Take our die off. So now it is scored, cut, and scored. And then we just fold. So and that's our bib. So that's our bib card. It's a little bit wide right now. So now we're going to take our bib overlay. So the bib overlay has two different sizes so you can layer them. Um, we're just going to cut that out in white. So just a piece of white cardstock. Now pattern paper comes in really handy here. Um, maybe not for this layer, but for the top layer. Run that through. And now our bib overlay fits right on the front. Now I'm going to take a hair off of both sides. I did have it pretty centered, um, so I'm just going to take a hair off of both sides. But if you wouldn't have had it centered and you would have put your bib on there, it might be off to one side or the other. And if you don't have any play in there to cut it, then you're just kind of stuck. So it's just a little bit easier to have it a little wide to begin with and trim it after you're done. So you can like draw lines on there to figure out where you're, but I'm just kind of a go for it kind of gal. So I'm just going to trim it. I'm, I'm eyeballing it, especially for the purposes of this video. Now we have our bib overlay. So it is a little long on the bottom, so let me just chop that off. So now we have our bib card with our bib overlay. Now we do have another bib overlay layer. So a piece of printed paper on there would be very nice. We're going to use just a piece of yellow. 
cut that out. And then I'm going to use an embossing folder just to give it a little bit of texture. So an embossing folder for my bib overlay. Again, pattern paper works really great here. Otherwise, we have some really pretty metallic papers that work really nice for your top layer. So then we have our triple layer card. Now up here, you're going to use your circles that it came with. So it's a one and a three quarter inch circle that you can put up here either a scallop one or a straight one and then there's a few other sizes so you can layer your circles up at the top um, it works really nice like this is our upo paper that i used alcohol inks on and that cuts really well with your bib dies So I am just using one of our pre-cut bib cards this time, and I cut, used the big die to cut a white overlay, and then I'm using our little die to cut our little piece of UPO, um, and then I do have some fish dies that I'm going to put on the front of this card. So that's how you use our card making dies, our two inch circle card making die, and our bib overlay dies to make the bib cards with the bib overlays. So we used these two dies, the two inch um, card making die and then the bib overlay die to make our bib overlay kits. We also have them pre-cut, they're on our sale page of our website right now. Um, and then we also have them in bulk. So you could buy just the cards if you're not really into measuring and cutting. Um, but then if you got the bib overlaid die, you could use all of your printed papers to make some pretty tops for them. Um, on this card right here, I used our new lava papers and I used an embossing folder and also our gold mirror card to make this really sparkly. I need to start thinking about Christmas cards because we do Christmas card kits coming up pretty soon. Um, so I was just messing around with some Christmas stuff but I used our Miri Lava Papers, which come in eight different colors. Um, the red is really pretty, which I used on this card. So this is one of our new cards also. It's our Slimline cards. They're the cards that measure three and a half by eight and a half. We have those all pre-cut and scored in white in a big bulk variety pack. 50 cards, 10 different colors, five of each, and then we also have some solid colors. We have the envelopes to go with those. And then what's nice is we have these layers that go with your um, cards also. So the layers are pre-cut to fit on the front of your slimline cards. And this happens to be our show special right now. Besides our bib stuff that's on sale on our sale page, we have our show special, which if you order $25, you get a 25 pack of the white slimline layers. If you order $50, you get both of these packs, the white and the festive variety of the slimline layers. Then one other thing that I wanna tell you about besides our show special and what's on sale is an upcoming class that we have in our warehouse. Well, it's not in our warehouse because I have to do it virtually but it is our everything triple class um, in which we're using our Z fold card to make three different card Z fold dies to make three different cards. And then we're using our triple mini window dies to make a triple mini circle card and a triple oval card. So those will be coming up June 19th and 20th. And we do that online. So, so come and join us and have some fun card making with us. Till then, we'll see you later.